Chuck, what's that you got? What does it look like? Um, a potato chip shaped like Italy? I'm gonna go with boot. No! Snoopy, how could you? This isn't an eating chip, it's a collector's chip. I thought I'd lost you forever. Good grief. I don't know, Charlie Brown. From a certain angle, that potato chip bears a striking resemblance to Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, I could see it too. Your chip looks like Honest Abe. Very presidential, Charles. It's a beautiful day for bird watching, sir. I don't see any birds, Marcy. Maybe they all went for lunch. Want to shoot some hoops? Just wait. They'll be here soon. I think you're really going to like bird watching, sir. Hmm. I like it because each bird is so different. If you were a bird, what kind would you be? I don't know. Something colorful. Maybe like that one. Good choice, sir. That's a blue jay. You can tell by the vivid blue feathers. I could be a blue jay. I look good in blue. Look at that little fella. What does your bird book say about him? Let's see. I think it may be a rare Swiss mountain bird. It'd be neat to have a big feather like that. <laughs> oh, there's another one. What does your book say about pink feathers? I think it's either a pink feathered nightingale or a very short flamingo. Do you ever wonder what kind of bird you'd like to be, Marcy? All the time, sir. <laughs> That's a laughing kookaburra. They're known for their distinctive laughing call, and they're very popular. Not as popular as that one. Now that's a flashy bird. Hey, up in the tree. Look at that pretty yellow bird. That's my favorite so far. Simple, but full of personality. And as I always say, Marcy, personality goes a long way. True, sir. Very true. <laughs> Actually, that is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds beautiful. They look like big fluffy balls of cotton candy. Scientifically speaking, clouds are mostly ice particles and dust, sir. That one over there looks like the boiler of the. What do you see, Linus? I don't see anything. They're just clouds. Just use your imagination. Over there, that cloud looks just like an ice cream cone. Hey, now that ice cream kind of looks like a dog bone. Hey, see those swirly, whirly clouds over there? They're called stratocumulus. They look just like ocean waves. You mean over there? Those are birds, Sally. How come no one is asking me what I see when I look at the clouds? Uh, what do you see? Shark! A great big shark with great big teeth. It's not a shark anymore. That cloud's looking awfully tall now. You know what that means. It's not a desert island. It's a volcano! Oh, that's it! I give up! It's a ferocious dinosaur! Oh, Me yeah. too! There it is. Would you look at that? That was a lot of fun. We should do it again sometime. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. definitely. Yep. Because you made so many nice Valentine's Day cards for everyone. Oops. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day! You! You even got the macaroni to sparkle ratio just right. Huh. Who knew a 
a day in the middle of February could bring so many people together. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Go team! Thanks, kid. I'll take it from here. Are you counting to ten because you're upset? One time, I was making a volcano for science class, and I used baking powder instead of baking soda. There was no chemical reaction, and I got a B minus. The point is, I understand being upset. Thanks again for fumbling that ball, Snoopy. That was my best touchdown this year. <laughs> Instead of being angry at yourself because you made a mistake, try being happy for others. If you want, you can borrow my pom-poms. Here. <laughs> Nice cheer. Good game to you, too. My work here is done. I think it's fun to go to a little kid's birthday party. They get so excited at that age. You're ready for some well-organized fun. Now then. All right, let's keep things moving. Wait a minute. You've got to be careful. There are a lot of forgeries going around. It all checks out. Try the pink lemonade. The schedule to maintain. Who wants to dance the Charleston? Maybe Charles likes the Charleston. Hey, Chuck, where are you? Where's Chuck? And why doesn't anyone want to dance? Perhaps something a little more contemporary, sir. There you are, you sly dog. Let's dance. Seen Chuck? Times <laughs> make me uncomfortable. Everyone go back to the party! Okay, everyone, time to celebrate. Happy birthday, Lily! I wonder where those birds are off to. They're flying south for the winter. Why would they do that? Each fall, birds migrate in predictable patterns, traversing great distances to get to warmer climates. They're going on vacation. That's odd. Birds are supposed to fly south for the winter, not a walk. Maybe he can't afford the flight. <laughs> Good one, sir. Uh, I thought you said the birds were going on vacation. I did, sir, but never underestimate the power of advertising. Please hold your applause until the end. too windy. This pogo stick is obviously defective. I'm going inside to write a strongly worded letter to the manufacturer. Follow me, secretary. That would be you. Oh, right. 
<laughs> Wait for me! Well, now that's <laughs> Look at the height he's getting. <laughs> Excuse me, is that my pogo stick? Snoopy, you're amazing! Hey. Helmet! <laughs> Shouldn't you be bouncing? Isn't it obvious what happened? That silly dog broke it. Secretary! Apparently I'm being summoned. Doing it! Learned it from Snoopy. Got it, Coach. <laughs> I'm surprised you're going to be doing this. Couldn't have done it without Snoopy. Yay! Yay! Thanks, Coach. Way to go, Lucy! You're doing it! <laughs> How about dancing? Or sitting quietly in the corner? Will the real Beethoven... We're here! Keep, Let's party! Keep, 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 keep. Which way do the dance? Great party, Schroeder! Check out what Snoopy made me! What do you suppose is going on out there? If I were to hazard a guess, sir, it looks like a revolution in left field. This week, I read a book called Some Toyer. Hi, Snoopy. I hear you're working on a big speech for the head deagle. <laughs> you want my advice, kid? Just wing it. That's what I do. When I'm in front of a bunch of people, I just keep it loose and everything goes smooth as ice. What about last year's school play, sir? So, there's these three bears and this kid named Goldilocks. Some name, huh? Anyway, the girl and the bears got hungry, so they put on some music and ordered out for pizza. Not pizza, sir. Porridge. She tried three bowls of porridge. What? Bears don't eat porridge? That's ridiculous. Who wrote this mess? <laughs> Fine. It might have gone smoother if I'd read the script. The audience did seem to enjoy it, sir. What can I say? I'm a natural. Be prepared, or things can go really, really, really badly. Or things can go really, really Remember to speak up. Always stay calm. Just ignore all the nice things. Nice nice I would have thought all our good advice would have made him nice and calm. Don't be nervous, Snoopy. Your speech is going to be great. You just have to believe in yourself. I know. Why don't we be your test audience? You can practice your speech on us. How will we know if it's any good? We don't speak, dog. That's not the point, sir. We're trying to build his confidence. You can do it. Come on, Dad. Yeah. We believe in you. Hi, Snoopy. Where are you off to? Official Scoutmaster journal entry. Today, I will lead my brave Beagle Scouts into the woods. We shall enjoy the great outdoors, free from all modern conveniences. No modern conveniences? That is brave. <laughs> Maybe we should go camping, Marcy. I'm busy that day. Snoopy! You're soaking wet. Here, dry up with this. We're playing dress up. It's the best thing to do on a rainy day. Do you want to play? What's this one supposed to be? That's when I want to dress up as Marie Curie, the only person to ever win the Nobel Prize in two different scientific fields. Now this is more like it. That's my library girl costume. Her superpower is that she can read a thousand books before checkout time. Though she doesn't read them so quickly that she doesn't enjoy them. That would defeat the point of reading. Who wants to play superhero? Yeah! Terrible news, Masked Marvel. The big bad book burglar has stolen all the books from the library. 
We need to capture her and return the books at all costs. Looking for me, Masked Marvel? I've come to return your library books. Take this. <laughs> Looks like I got here just in time to organize these books by the Library of Congress classification system. <laughs> Oof, you got me! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it stopped raining. Summer. Yay! Marcy. I just broke my own record. Good timing, sir. I just finished my last encyclopedia. Did you know that the Z particle has a mass of 91.19 giga electron volts? Oh, no! What? I was just practicing. That's it! The end of summer has arrived! Okay, I was just getting acclimatized. Hey, Snoopy, you want to join our picnic? It's the last one of the summer. Here, have a sandwich. <laughs> Number four. Surprise! We thought you were Snoopy. Why? He's standing right there. We're being secretive. It's Snoopy's birthday, and I want to throw him the best surprise party ever. Isn't it a little cramped to have a party in here, Chuck? Not here. Outside. While I'm setting things up, I need you to keep Snoopy busy. I'll help you, Charles. I'm in too, Chuck. I'll help. But I want a corner piece of the birthday cake. Deal. Hello? You'll see what we need you to do. Hey, Snoopy. Uh, you're probably wondering what we're all doing in the closet. <laughs> uh, we were looking for our flashlights. Found mine. Me too. Found there it is. I'm always losing my flashlights in closets. That's an excellent lion roar, sir. Thanks, Marcy. You do a pretty good elephant call yourself. Thank you, sir. I did it! I actually surprised you! I hope you got your shades on, because I'm bringing the heat! dog of yours trying to prove? That being a herd dog isn't the right career for him? <laughs> What's going on here? It looks like a traffic jam, sir. In the park? I'm There's no way he has city approval for I'm writing a strongly worded letter. <laughs> Huh? Way to watch out, watchdog. <clears throat> For the Honorable Judge Lucy Van Pelt. <laughs> this is an outrage! What is this world Would coming you feed to? Penguin food to a lion? Bye. But it sounds like Charlie Brown is guilty. Guilty! 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 <laughs> Dog told to fetch own slippers? Beagle forced to wear same collar despite new trends in fashion? Now that's what I call hard-hitting journalism. I only read the Beagle for the crossword. What's a six-letter word for ignored? Brown-headed kid offers belated dinner with no dessert. Don't worry, Charles. I don't believe everything I read. Uh, 
things about me. <laughs> Wake <laughs> up! Sometimes I think you don't appreciate me at all. I'll bet you don't even know the meaning of the word appreciation. I think you hurt Charles' feelings. And after all he does for you, he feeds you, he gives you a good home, he loves you. He only ever wants what's best for you. Poor old Charles. Poor, 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 poor old Charles. <coughs> Ew. Looks like someone's finally getting some overdue gratitude. Ready for the big math test? <laughs> Good book, Marcy? Fascinating, sir. Good paddle? You know it! Just a reminder, we have tickets for the Tiny Tots concert tomorrow. Ugh. Didn't we just see one of those? That was six months ago. A stirring interpretation of Little Red Riding Hood. What are we seeing this time? A stirring interpretation of Peter and the Wolf. Yeesh! Another story about a kid and a wolf? We already know the kid is going to win. Where's the excitement in that? Would you want to watch a hockey game if you knew the final score before it started? I wouldn't want to watch a hockey game, sir. Hmm. How can anyone not like hockey? Yikes! <laughs> That's a pretty good gorilla impersonation, Snoopy. Do me next. Hmm. The look is right, but the attitude is all wrong. That's it! It's like looking in a mirror. Hmm, that gives me an idea. How would you like to impersonate me tomorrow? If you do, you can see a free concert. Whatever you do, don't tell Marcy it's you. Hey, Chuck. Hi, Peppermint Patties. Peppermint Patties? You're being awfully considerate today, sir. You didn't yell, turn down the music, or turn up the fun, even once. By the way, I know it's you, Snoopy. <laughs> it's okay. It was nice to hear the music without Patricia snoring over top. I don't suppose... You can impersonate me? The look is right, but too much attitude. Perfect. Could you pose as me tomorrow? I'm supposed to go to a hockey game with Patricia. Woohoo! Yeah! Great. Whatever you do, don't tell Patricia it's you. Whatever this is, it's not going to end well. into the game, Marcy. You didn't even bring a book or any homework. <laughs> High five! <laughs> Great game, eh, Marcy? Woohoo! I know it's you, Snoopy. Uh -uh. Don't worry. It's nice to watch a game with someone who cares about the score. I guess Marcy figured out my trick, huh? Mm-hmm. But she doesn't know that I know she knows. Which means you can go to the ballet with her tomorrow in my place. The ballet always makes me sleepy. All that twirling and dipping and weaving, just thinking about it makes me <sighs> tired. I guess Patricia didn't want to come to the ballet either.
It's funny, but I kind of miss her snoring. It added something to the experience. Although, I suppose she doesn't know that I know that she knows that I know her trick. Huh? So how do you feel about birds? You know what kind of bird that is? Marcy would know. She knows all kinds of stuff. You want to know a secret? Sometimes I even think it's interesting. Don't tell her I said that. We're supposed to go to the movies tomorrow. I guess she doesn't want to do that either. Uh -huh. What are you painting, Marcy? It's Patricia. We were supposed to see a movie tomorrow, but she probably doesn't want to go with me anymore. <sighs> I know you didn't mean for it to happen, Snoopy, but I think spending time with you instead of each other is hurting their friendship. <laughs> hey, Snoopy, what gives? I thought I was seeing a movie with you dressed as Marcy. Where's your wig, Snoopy? Ahem. <clears throat> oh, hello, sir. You came! Does that mean you want to watch the movie with me? I do, if you want to watch it with me. Only if you promise to point out how unscientific it all is. Okay, but you have to snore extra loud during the dramatic bits. Deal. Just so you know, sir, in real life, it would take a lot longer for those bunnies to travel through space. <sighs> Good to have you back, sir. <sighs> Isn't Lucille's garden coming along nicely, sir? I'd like it better if it grew pepperoni pizzas. Why is that kid dress so funny? That's a scarecrow, sir. It's meant to discourage wild animals from eating your crops. I don't know, Marcy. He doesn't look very scary to me. <laughs> Watch this, Marcy. I'm going to break the world record in long jump. <laughs> I jump? Three and a half feet, sir. Give or take a quarter inch. Yes! What's the world record? 29 feet, four and one quarter inches. Close enough. <sighs> Hi, Chuck. Hello, Charles. Peppermint Patty, do you have Snoopy's supper dish? You mean that discus thing that Rerun gave me? I was going to break a record with it. But then I threw it and it didn't come back. It's a boomerang that comes back, sir. Not a supper dish. Whatever you call it, it wasn't regulation sports equipment. I have to find it! Do you know where it is now? I think it landed in that tree over there. Thanks! My money's on the tree. That fish is pretty special. Uh -huh. Sure yep. is. Uh -huh. I can't see. You have the oh, best so view. Cute. It's my turn. Just to remind everyone, the bowl is round. Oh, hey, hey here. It's it's my turn. Hey, little guy. So cute. Hello, you wonder of Do you like me? Oh, my sweet uh, little baby. Do you need anything to read in there? Oh, Hi, fishy, ah. fishy, fishy. Ah. Impressive. Wow. Can he do any tricks? Of course he can. Goldfish are very good at tricks. Everyone step back. He needs room to perform. Oh. Impressive. Wow. Notice how he sparkles in the light. 
Oh. oh! I've read that goldfish are so smart they can recognize your face. Me first. This goldfish and I have a bond. Hello, little fish. I'm the one looking after you. Well, okay. L look at me now. Uh, he's probably hungry and tired. Taking care of a goldfish is a very complicated task. All done. Oh, wow. Time for him to get some rest. Bye, fish. Good night. Bye-bye. See you. Sleep tight. Bye. After seeing that amazing goldfish, I don't think anything else will impress me. What about a bird in his own flying apparatus, sir? I still prefer the goldfish. Hey! We're driving here, pal! I believe he has the right of way, sir. <gasps> Whoa! Because of a song! It all started because of a song. We're all pitch, pick up the tune and sing along. Hey, wait a second! I'm singing too! It all started because I'll pick up the tune. Well, not everything. Looking good, Santa. Now don't forget to get me that sled I asked for. I want a baseball bat. Wood or aluminum. I want a model rocket. And I want a fishing rod. I want a new book. I want some peanuts. I want a grand piano. I also want a new bookshelf. I shot. want world peace. Or maybe a new sweater? There. Don't forget what we asked for, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Peppermint Patty. I made this especially for you. Um, thanks, Chuck? My pleasure. What is this thing? A paperweight? Beats me. Mine's a baseball holder, right? Uh, thanks, Charles. I could use one of these. Yeah, thanks, Charlie Brown. It's perfect for my, uh, collection. Merry Christmas to all. Maybe it's a rain catcher? I think mine might be a doorstop. Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown!